Hey everybody, this is My Collectibles coming back with another video and November's numbers are in for Vivi and we have had a quite a crash of stuff going down and I don't mean market value, I just mean activity in regards to market sales, in regards to active wallets, in regards to buyers and sellers and all of that. Now I'm going to break it down for you and get right into it. Here is a first look at the numbers and I'm going to give a big shout out right here to, you know, of course... You know, uh, Vivi Fox, she's been doing great work right there over on her, uh, you know, YouTube channel. And of course, over on Twitter, I did a screenshot here, you know, of, uh, you know, the information that she put out for November. And I'm going to show you what she put out for October as a comparison as well. Then I'm going to tell you the reasons why I think this happened and what the VV app needs, you know, to make sure that these numbers go back up in December and what I think is going to happen. So if you do like this video, make sure you hit like and down below in the comment section, leave your suggestions and your feedback and your comments about this. You know, we got to talk about when stuff goes down as much as we got to talk about when stuff goes up because this is what collectors do. This is what we do. We watch the market. You know, we like to see what's happening. We like to know what the catalysts are. That way you can make the right decisions for sure, right? And if you do want to join this channel as a member, make sure you join up and you can get into my giveaways and my rewards. You know, my drop heads are only ever going up. So you can get in on that for free by joining. Just join, DM me, and I'll get you into my program. But like I said, here are the numbers right here from VV Fox. Now, like I said, I'm going to put a link to her, you know, YouTube channel and everything in the description of this video. I highly recommend you go over there, subscribe. And uh, also make sure you're following her on X because this stuff comes out and she puts really great information together. But check it out. Here is November 2023. She tweeted this out. Go hit, go make sure you comment below that tweet and, and hit like on that and give your feedback. But active users right there down 29% from October. Uh, new wallets also down almost 40%. But actually, if you look at that number, 412, that's not bad. You know, I'll show you what October had, but new wallets continue to be added, which is actually a good thing. Uh, market activity, trades are down by 30%. Buyers are down by 35%. Sellers by 35% as well. And look at the drops right there. 18, you know, we're minus seven. There was 25 in October, you know, and Minters as well is down by 40% as a result of that. So all of these numbers are down and there are specific reasons for that. Now let's look at the no October numbers, which were coming off the New York City Comic Con, which I went to and attended. I know you guys saw that. We had lots of really good drops there. You can see the active wallets that month were up 6% from the month before. And new wallets, there were 680 that month. We still got over 400 this month. So that's 1,000 in two months, which is not bad. But that was up 42% from September. So you can see that these ones that we got right here in October and November, still 412. So that's over 1,000 new wallets. Almost 1,100, in fact, in two months, which is pretty damn good, actually. Market activity was way up, you know, from September. Um, sorry, up from where it is today, but only up about 1%, you know, from September. Buyers and sellers as well, you know, the buyers are actually down a little bit in uh, the month of October. And sellers went up, you know, uh, 3%, you know, to 11,000. Drops, there were 25. Minters and all that were up from where we are now, right? And, of course, these were up from before right there. You can see. So you can see the drastic numbers and the difference. There's two main big reasons for this. And it actually is quite simple, you guys, right here. I mean, we had the first reason. And that is we did not have great drops, mid-level drops in November. And let's show you right here. If you look at the VV app right here. Now, we had some fun stuff come out in November. Some cool stuff. But we didn't have anything massively significant. So, of course, people aren't going to spend as much time going into the store and minting and buying and adding gems. The active wallets are going to stay a little bit lower because we didn't have anything big to go after. Check out all the drops we had. We had some nice stuff. You know, nothing wrong with this stuff, but no grails in there. I'm going to show you what we need in just a second. You can see these are all the ones we had November 27th, Big Bird Marvels. This was a nice comic right here, $2.99 right there. That wasn't bad, but you can see Avatar could have been better, but people didn't go after that one as highly right there. You can see just mid-level comics right here. We got the Hawkeye stuff, which was really cool. Uh, we got Spider-Boy, which is really nice at the beginning of the month. I like that one a lot. Then we got a Spider-Man 700 with that amazing fantasy original cover, which was cool. And then we got the Bond drop and Jurassic Park. And all the stuff, Adam's Family was right at the end of October. And Ghost Rider was probably the last really good collectible drop that everybody went after big time, right? So you can see that these drops, there's nothing wrong with them, but they're just mid-level. 
And what we need in this app every month, and this is what Vivi needs to do, they need to drop something significant and something important and something really amazing. And that will drive a lot of, you know, activity in the app. And I made a video back in October, in fact, and you can go back and watch this. I'll put a link to this, but we need a grail coming to Vivi. And what I mean by that is like a Venom type character, a big drop. We're due for something really special, you know, and I actually, in this video a month ago, I outlined the importance of what, you know, what that means for the app. And you can actually see it in real time that in November, you can see what happens when we don't have something significant drop in the app. The activity does go down. Now, there are, is another big factor here that I want to talk about that, you know, has affected this as well. And that actually is right here. That is crypto pump. This has happened outside of VV. Now, this is will I think this will reflect in the VV app going up in time. But if you actually look at Bitcoin over the last like while, this is a six month chart right here. But you can see the activity here. And of course, a lot of altcoins have gone up. You know, in the later October, early November, and through November for sure, we've had gains and rises. So people have taken their money. I know the people in the VV community have done this. I know I have, and move some of it over there, not necessarily selling everything on VV, but just moving some stuff into crypto. You know, and actually, you can see it all the time. A lot of there's a lot of influencers talking about it right now, you know, about how they're buying altcoins and how they're making gains. They're not so much focused on collectibles in VV that have been dropping the new stuff. They've been putting their money there, which is probably a smart play. You know, I mean, I'm not a financial advisor, of course, but this is, I think, what people have been doing for sure. So you have those two factors have been coming into play this month right here, this past month with crypto on the rise, people putting money there for sure. And also, of course, the drop schedules, you know, not being as significant as before. But what is going to be happening coming up? So. This month in December, we are going to be actually having a decent amount of stuff that are going to be coming out. We're going to have the 12 days of VV. This is going to be actually quite something, the 12 days of Christmas. There's going to be a lot of giveaways, and there's probably going to be some big stuff that happened this month to drive more traffic to VV. Specifically, the Christmas stuff is going to be good. And remember, at the end of the year, we usually get some sort of grail. Last year, we got Jim 83 that big Thor comic. If you remember that, I mean, people were predicting that way ahead of the movie, like the whole six months before that, but we actually got it at the end of December. So I predict that we're going to get the similar thing right here. We're going to get something big coming up and we're going to get a lot of drops right here that are Christmas related or fun related. And there's going to be tons of giveaways and all sorts of stuff happening. So I do think December is going to be a better month than we saw in November right there. But you need those two things. You need, <laughs> Vivi needs to give us some good drops, some really high level, at least mix a great one in there at some point. And then, of course, you know, with the with the results of the crypto pump, we will see where that will lead the whole community and stuff. And where people, if people will take their money and bring it back into the app, that'll be really interesting. Competition is one last thing that is also affecting VV as well. We have other projects, but they're not also selling that much stuff right now either. So you can see that the digital collectible space right now, until we get another big drop or big grail or some of the profits from crypto come back in. You know, you're probably not going to see a huge rise in, in terms of the uh, monthly activity. But I think this month in BV is going to be good because of the whole Christmas thing and everything they're planning. And of course, like I said, we do have comic crafting coming and new stuff coming up. When the VV verse does get here, that was also another thing that I thought would pump the VV marketplace. But that's just to the aftermarket for sure, because then people will go in and want to buy stuff and bring it into the VV verse. Once they give us access, we're supposed to have gotten another wave, but we haven't got it yet. We're still waiting for that. So hopefully VV, you know, speeds that up and we get another wave of people in there. And that will also help affect the aftermarket price. But anyway, I want to shout out, you know, VV Fox, great information as always. Make sure you're subbed on her channel. Make sure you're following her on X and follow us here because I will keep track of this and I'm watching in the background as well. Anyway, let us know. It's your time. It's your time to give us your thoughts right here. Let us know in the comment section what you think could improve the numbers for VV this particular month coming up. And if you agree with what I said or if I missed anything, I'd love to hear it. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video and happy collecting.